Hi friends, strangers, internet. My name is Emily. I of colorful makeup and colorful language. You can also call me M. Welcome to another episode of new makeup nonsense bingo. Blah blah blah. I always make an air horn sound and I always regret it. And holy shit, fuck, it's beautiful outside. Hold on, hold please, hold please, hold please. Come the fuck on. Come the fuck on. That's not the moon in the reflection, that is just my lights. Anyway, hello, hi, welcome back to another shit show of a video. Uh, if you are new here, <laughs> well, New Makeup Nonsense Bingo is a video that I do in collaboration with two dear friends of mine, Teresa of Teresa is Dead and Audra of Audra at Home. Home. <laughs> Midwest Canadian came out for a moment. This video is a take on new makeup releases, but it's really three videos in one. We have the new makeup re release, anti-haul, will I buy it kind of conversations. We also have a bingo game and we also have libations or sometimes uh, other forms of things. If you've seen Teresa's channel before, you get what I'm saying. I have some whiskey and cola because that is the kind of cake I've been on lately. And we talk about new releases. I'm usually here roasting and, you know, critiquing them, but sometimes there's stuff that I'm interested in, sometimes. I'm in a slightly different position for today's filming if you're noticing changes. And as I may have showed you with my camera, the lighting is changing, so covering all those bases for you, for me. I'm gonna show you all of the possible releases that I have on the docket today. And the thing is, is that when we are filming this video, Audra, Teresa, and I are pulling from the same folder of photos. So we pull in a random way. And if Audra and or Teresa have videos going up this week along with mine, I will have them linked in the description box. I'm also gonna have the bingo cards and hashtags and a community playlist so that if anybody is watching, is intrigued and would like to play as a creator, just play along at home, you have those for you. And if you do upload a new makeup nonsense bingo video, find me on the internet, send me the link, and I will add you to the playlist. Okay, a lot of awkward intro stuff done. Let's show you what's possible for this week and get into it. Okay, okay. First release up, uh, I saw the packaging and the marketing photos and I was not expecting this brand. So bravo for that. So we have a foundation from Be Perfect Cosmetics. It is the new Chroma Cover Luminous Foundation. It is 22 pounds or $31 USD. It's a medium with buildable coverage, luminous finish formulated with rose hip, vitamin E, and hyaluronic acid, 36 shades with a pump to, to dispense. Now, when I saw this, I was taken aback a little bit because the packaging, I would not have assumed to be perfect, just to be honest. Uh, I can't tell if it looks like fancy or nice, but 
I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I think it's an interesting packaging choice. There's a pump. Yeah. You know, like, I, I know that, like, I have, like, Indies expanding their, their, their line is always an interesting thing to me. I, I went into a thing about it. Uh, I, I, I'm always talking about this kind of shit. But I'm not going to go too deep here. But I'm just going to say that, like, I'm not mad about it. I think a luminous foundation is definitely more intriguing to me than your traditional or like the older school kind of like matte formulas, which I could have assumed that Be Perfect would have gone that that road, gone down that road, but they didn't. They went with luminous. So I think that the marketing photos, like their models, gorgeous. The bottle looks interesting. The color range looks decent. I always feel a little tenuous about making any kind of judgment call because I don't have the best eye for that. But yeah, I'm not mad. And that's a decent way to start a video like this, if I'm being honest. The only downside to that is that they, they, don't, they don't, there's no spot on the bingo card for that. Alas. <laughs> Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. I, I am telling myself to wait because I thought this palette was a fake mock-up. That's how much it made me pitter-patter. I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just doing things. Too Faced, Too Faced has an Italian Spritz eyeshadow palette coming soon. Um, the Italian Spritz Lake Como cocktail inspired eyeshadow palette. Too Faced always shows things super early, so I'm guessing this is spring, summer. Why am I intrigued by this? It's a peachy palette. It's peachy neutrals with a pop of blue. But like, I, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, Capri Fun, that like orangey yellow and the vibrancy of like when in Rome and peach saucy, feeling saucy, feeling saucy. And then the blue, mm. I don't know why I was pointing at the camera. I'm feeling a little attacked for no reason. My brain knows that this is not gonna be an Emily eyeshadow palette, but there's another part of my brain that's like, shut up, we like it. <laughs> Makes no sense. Am I gonna buy a Too Faced eyeshadow palette? Probably not, probably not, probably not. But there's like the littlest bit of myself that's saying, put it on my face. So I'm gonna own that. I'm gonna own that. I'm gonna. I'm, 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 yeah, we're owning that. So Valentino has a concealer out. The very Valentino 24 hour wear hydrating concealer, or it's coming soon. It's a multi-use creamy lightweight concealer that delivers medium coverage and brightens skin's radiance for creaseless finish that lasts all day, $35, 20 shades. Also, my computer is right here. Yes, it would have made more sense maybe to have it right here, so I wasn't not looking at the camera. My setup doesn't let me do that. We're trying, I'm trying, I, I'm trying. So my dear friend Audra speaks very highly of the Valentino Foundation. Now, they speak highly of it in the way that like, they're like a lot of the, their words, a lot of the, the bougier foundations kind of perform similarly. So just pick the one that you're the most interested in. Like whether it's Valentino, Armani, Pat, I'd probably other ones in there. And, and I'm a concealer whore. Audra's the foundation lover, I'm the concealer lover. So when I see bougie brands start venturing into concealer, I'm like, hmm, maybe? But this shade range. <sighs> Makes me feel uncomfy. And and here's here's the thing. 
Obviously, depth is important. It is. That is important. But even to my kind of untrained eyes, like, it's not even just the deeper ranges or the deeper colors and lack thereof. But I'm going to say even the fair shades, the pale shades, I don't know which word is a better choice, I think pale, even those look questionable at best. They all look pretty peachy and not all of us are peachy. So yeah, I'm gonna let all the beady girlies review this and I'm gonna stay in my fucking corner. Another brand that should know fucking better? More, more than Valentino. Mac, what the fuck are you doing, Mac? Let me pull up this post and give you the details, but what the fuck? So Mac has a new Studio Fix Everywhere All Over Face Pin. Everywhere, all over face pin, you concealer and foundation hybrid, 36 hours coverage, conceals, brightens, evens tone, lightweight, flexible, won't crease or cake, medium to full coverage, uh, natural finish while being waterproof. And it's coming soon to the US, it's in, it's in Europe now. What, what is this shade range? Like, Look, has Mac always been this bad? And I, no, Mac has not. No, 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 no. I, I don't think Mac has always been this bad because the, I, I would put money, money that I do not have, but I would put money on the fact that I feel like there were multiple brown and black beauty creators and friends that I've talked about that have talked about wearing MAC like for a long time, but this, what, what is going on with these two arms on the, go home MAC, you're drunk. I, I know that I might be using this spot on the card a little premature, but I'd rather not. Mac, I would rather not. I guess I'm just going on a concealer foundation kick today. Ugh, you're welcome. That's what, that's what, that's what we got to talk about. And that's what the randomizer is giving me. So Tarte <laughs> has a new, Shape Tape Sidekick Color Correctors. They are $30 each. Oh, and they're doing a $10 off your first order with any order over $25 for the first email sign up. Okay, so, side note, tangent. This is what I'm talking about when it comes to the, 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 the wild Sephora sale bullshit where I'm like, almost every brand has an, an email sign up that's like 20% off or $10 off of an order of $25. Like everyone that it, that flips out over a 20% off coupon, you are more loved than that, my dears. You are more loved than that. I don't make the, the sale videos cause like that's not my part of the, y'all don't care about my, perspectives on that, but yeah, $10 off with an email sign up or an order of over 20, like I'm, I, words are not forming out of my mouth, but, but you get what I'm saying. So color correctors, there's a shape tape. It, it looks like there are seven colors, six, six or seven. Here's what I'm gonna, oh, it's six colors and then they have it paired with the shape tape and the marketing imagery, which is smart. Look, I I know, I know I've said this on the internet before. I actually like the shape tape. I liked it. 
You could not listen to influencers. Don't fucking listen to them because they have you putting on like, you know, half the tube on your face in one application. But back in the day, I used to put just a little bit and then I would I would tap it out, blend it out. It actually was really nice. I have to say, I don't know if it would behave as nicely as I've gotten a little older, but there is a part of me that is curious about the green in this collection. I think there was a blue. I thought I saw other colors that were like, Did I see that? Or did I make that up? I thought I saw like a blue and a black. I maybe, but, but, so a lot of the concealers that I, that I have in my collection and that I love are very like, they're very creamy or they're emollient or they're very like, they're luminous without being like, they're not like shimmery. But, uh, just in the last couple months, I like went back to my Pat McGrath concealer and I fucking love that. I, I, I dropped the bottle and it broke because it's glass. So that fucking sucks. Um, but I am reminded of how like the right kind of formulas of higher coverage, but not drying concealers, how powerful they are which kind of made me think of shape tape, I gotta admit. So I don't know if I actually feel like the color corrector in that formula would be what I really want, but I'm not hating on it. There's a part of me that feels like drunk me, drunk me could get drawn in by, the, by like Tarte, especially on a sale. Drunk me might buy that. It's an absolutely unexciting drunk me might buy it purchase, but you bitch loves con concealer, concealer, and I also kind of love a good green color corrector. I didn't know what this thing was, but I saw it in the folder because mm, thank you, Teresa, because you pull photos and. Applause, applause for Teresa. I am having so many thoughts about this right now. I did, I did, um, let me just read the caption. Say hello to Imprintu, a portable tattoo machine by LG. This printing machine uses a safe vegan tattoo ink to print on skin and clothing and lasts approximately one day. You connect it to the Imprintu mobile app on a smartphone, smartphone, and then you'll be able to select from a wide range of design options and print temporary tattoos. The machine has a resolution of 600 DPI. It takes two to three seconds to make ready to print tattoos. It's coming soon, first in South Korea, then in the US. I'm sure, I'm sure this thing is like exorbitantly expensive. It's, it's like, as expensive as the market will allow. But as somebody that I literally want to be covered in tattoos, there are so many ideas I have and I just do not have the money. The thought, of, and, and I know temporary tattoos exist. I know the like longer temporary tattoos exist, but there's something so powerful about this idea. Now, the fact that they only live for one day or like survive on your skin for one day makes me feel like you're probably spending a lot of money on like, like, I don't know about it. But there's also a part of me that's like, I need to know more. I want to know more. Tell me more. I would love to hear your thoughts. Like, I think it's just because tattoos are so inaccessible to me for monetary reasons that th just this is just like, it's just tapping into my little goblin brain. My goblin brain is strong. So, uh, who's gonna be the first influencer to lie about this new 
mascara because Maybelline has a new falsy surreal mascara. It's it's an extension style mascara, up to 24 hour wear. This extension mascara is clump resistant as well as smudge, flake, and smear resistant. Vegan in three shades. Hybrid fiber technology mixes of mixes fiber fibers of different sizes up to three millimeters, and its extended helix brush with loads lashes from root to tip with surreal and I'm so bored. No one's fun anymore. Whatever happened to fun? God, I'm so bored I could die. Whoa. Ah! My brain is saying this is the same Maybelline mascara that's probably in a million other tubes and it's just repackaged, rebranded. It is the concealer episode. Okay, come on. I, I just, Givenchy has a new Prism Libre Skin Caring 24 Hour Hydrating Radiant Correcting Creamy Concealer. It's a revolutionary hydrating 24 hour wear concealer. Formulated with 95% natural origin ingredients. Conceal correct. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> this range also looks questionable at best. It's a little harder to tell in this post. Oh um, yeah, that's pretty questionable. That's pretty questionable. Come on, Givenchy. Come on. You can do better than this. Just, just, all the luxury brands just giving us nothing. Like what, what's going on? What's going on? I mean, I'm not surprised, but like make this at least a little more interesting. So Glam Light is collaborating with Hershey's again. And this sneak peek is in front of the Reese's, like some kind of Reese's branding. I mean, I think that's the only thing Hershey's makes that I give a fuck about are Reese's. Reese's Pieces, Reese's Cups, give me all, 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 all of it, all of it. Give it to me. But I don't, I do not think that I, uh, no, no, please no, probably no, most likely no. Brown palette, pop orange, no. Stick with the horror glam light, which you are doing, which I kind of digging, I'm kind of digging. I like the way the Chucky palette looked. So, you know, stay, stay over there. Stay over there. I am so confused. Yo, I am, I, I, is it April 1st? It, is it, no, I, it's March 1st. What, 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 ah, ah. what is happening? I saw this in the folder and I was like, okay, somebody is coming for ColourPop's bag. Okay, I, cause I don't, I, I was like, I didn't think it was a ColourPop palette, but it could have been. Leave your, leave a comment. Guess, guess what brand this, this, guess, what brand this palette is from. Please, please guess. If you don't already know the answer, even if you do, I don't care. Leave me a comment. Get who who the fuck is this? We know it's not ColourPop. I revealed that. Who, who, who? I'm a fucking owl right now. Who? Okay. Three, two, one. This is Inglot. How, 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 how is the, how? I'm sorry, Inglot. Uh, I, you, you, 
okay, I always knew you, you were like a professional friend or whatever. Like, I'm not gonna say you're under the radar, but I am gonna say that like in this moment in makeup, in the makeup world, you were not like super highly known, but I had heard about you for your single eyeshadows, for your gel pot liners. I respect, I respected, tid you but <sighs> you look like you raided the ColourPop packaging factory and that is an insult I'm so fucking confused this is $29 which I mean for Inglot stuff is not a bad price for Something that is reminiscent of Colourpop, though it is a bad price in my opinion. Um, so it, the concept is like cloud green, so it's like everyday browns with green. And I, I think that concept is pretty smart. The greens are very whatever to me in terms of tones. I'm just so confused by the packaging choice for this brand. Very confused. And it's totally possible that they've done other palettes in this range, because that's what it sounds like. It sounds like they have like other cloud color stories and that this is just the first one that, that we've seen. But I am so confused. It's available now, if anybody felt tempted. I need more booze in my system. I need Iconic London to take this liquid highlighter in a rollerball and go jump into a volcano. Rollerballs are good for maybe one thing. Nostalgic watermelon scented glossy lip gloss. Why did I say glossy lip gloss? G lip gloss that looks like you've been glazed, smothered. And if you know, you know. I do not, do not, why would you put it in a roller ball? Right, for the gimmick, right. Yeah, get the fuck out. I'm calling it nostalgic because those lip glosses are nostalgia in a rollerball and uh they're wonderful interesting tatcha has some new skincare they have the silk serum which is a wrinkle smoothing serum it's coming soon i know the silk primer or whatever silk canvas is popular i never used that I've had like some good experiences with Tasha skincare. I'm not gonna say that they're like worth the money or whatever. And I don't, I don't really believe that there is any brand that is being sold in a like Sephora or a store that's gonna smooth your wrinkles. But there's just a little, little nugget, teeny tiny little nugget in my brain that's like, this could be interesting. <laughs> Which is absolutely ridiculous on my part. I'm wondering if it's the kind of skincare that just like plumps you up. Cause I think that can help with your, with your wrinkles, but I'm very skeptical, but also intrigued. Just a little bit. Look, I'm 38. All you 20 somethings, just hush up, hush up. Uh, hi, hello, can we, can we talk about Suku? Su I, yes, yes, yes. This collection is very mild, but the theme has me by a chokehold because the summer 2023 collection is polarized opal.
there are glosses, there are marble lipsticks, there are nail polishes, there are blushes that are marbleized, and then there are two quads. And it looks like the quads have like three shades that are maybe mattes or satins, and then one like duochrome in each quad. A Suku is grown up. I was gonna say it's like grown up elegant Emily, and I guess that's 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 accurate. But I just there, there's just it's not even that I want the collection. It's just just no notes. No notes. The pa actually one note, one note, one note. The packaging better be opalescent. If the packaging is just white, just shinier matte white. That's a miss. If the packaging is opalescent in any capacity, I am a little sweaty for this. I am calling it a catfish though because I know. I, I know I don't actually like want a lot of the products in it, but they are designed and curated and presented in a way that makes me go, give me, give, give it to me. I know, I know I talk about perfusion a lot in here. I feel like I am constantly drawn to their collections. But the randomizer wants me to speak on it, so we're going to speak on it. So Perfusion has a new Empowered Butterfly collection. There is a 25 pan eyeshadow palette, uh, a butterfly, a mousse blush that so looks like there's two colors, a lip cream, a gloss, a lip mask, a lash set, um, face stickers, shimmer, liquid shimmer eyeshadow in two colors. Looks like there's like a liner, not, there's a lot of stuff. Okay, yeah, again, I'm a broken record, perfusion. Edit yourself, edit yourself. I mean, you're a big budget brand, so like, I guess you don't have to, you don't have to do anything whatever but i i would i would i wish i wish y'all would edit yourself down but i have to say i still think this is cute and like the the reality is that like if colourpop did a 35 pan palette that was actually vibrant like vibrant pastel like in this vein I also might be tempted by it. None of it is specifically for me, but you know what? A little detail that I enjoy. The two blushes. One is a more orangey tone with a pink butterfly in the center, and the other is more pinky tone with an orange butterfly in the center. I'm like, good job in making me want to own both. Because they look so cute but they will also, I think, read as different colors. I'm just a little weak for Perfusion, even though I don't really buy from them. I just, I'm always like, go you. You do your thing. You get that. Um, Like, butterflies for spring, groundbreaking. But it's cute. It's cute. It's cute in that it, in the way that I talked about a lot of makeup in last week in The Hangover, talking about all the nostalgic makeup, I I feel very similarly about this collection. Oh God. Okay. Well, the glosses have like big butterfly glitter in them. That's not loving that. But the packaging on that does remind me of like the Tower 28. I think they've done trios before and like the packaging of the actual product. So like, I see what you're doing, Perfusion. So if you were curious, the Perfusion collection is already available. I did check to see, they are 
I'm gonna say thankfully not bundling everything together because I was gonna call it a bundle deal nobody wants because I feel like that's a little extensive. What I am going to say, I'm gonna I'm gonna fudge the system a little bit because I've been here for a little while and uh, my drink is about done and I just gotta I gotta call it. I'm gonna call them a color pop wanna be because I will say there's something about that palette that is giving me ColourPop 35 pan palette energy. I also just want to end the video so I'm I'm cheating. This is one of those collections where I'm like there's there's no reason why I should enjoy it but I'm not mad about it. I think it's just that Profusion has not gotten to that point where I'm like, you're charging what for what? So I keep giving them a pass. I'm okay with that. So, bingo. Woo! <laughs> On that note, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Definitely go check out my friend's videos. They will be linked in the description box. And uh, if there is anything I did not talk about this week or anything that has come out between filming of this video and next Friday or next Wednesday, Thursday, you can definitely leave in the comments or tag me on Instagram in the post and I will make sure to talk about them in the hangover for next Friday. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's all. That's, that's, that's the video. I'm running out of words to say. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you to my patrons and my channel members for, for keeping me afloat. I'm going to keep saying the same thing over and over again because it's true. And if anybody is interested in another way to support me that is a financial way, uh, my Patreon or channel membership, either one is fine. Those are great ways to do that. And most importantly, whoever you are, wherever you are in the world, whatever you are doing at this moment, make sure to take care of yourself better today than you did yesterday because you are worth it. And I bet you have not been taking care of yourself great. Because I know the kinds of folks that find me and watch this video. And on that note, <laughs> bye friends. Hi friends, strangers, internet. What? Uh, uh. <clears throat> Hi friends, strangers, internet. My name is. Wait, what did I? Uh. This is this is not an act. I just filmed earlier today. Let's try this one more. Hi friends, strangers, internet. My name is Emily. I play like colorful makeup and colorful language, and I definitely forgot my intro for no reason whatsoever. Welcome back.